Well, praise the Lord, folks. Yep, I'm in here in the sound booth getting all the lyrics to the songs lined up for Sunday morning, praise God. And I'll tell you what, it's just, I love coming into the church when there's like, there's just like nobody here. It's just me and the Holy Spirit, praise God. And uh, I'm down here at 405 Beverly Parkway, Pensacola, at Central Church. And I'm doing this as a promo thing because uh, the Lord, I, I am just so on fire. I'm just so excited. I mean, my mouth is just cotton dry. My nerves are on end. I haven't slept well in a few nights because it's like I'm just seeking to please God. I'm just wanting to be a blessing to God and a blessing to my pastor and everyone else around me that knows me. So I'm inviting y'all Sunday, all my friends out there on Facebook, if you've never seen me preach in person, then I'm asking you to come on out to 405 Beverly Parkway, Sunday morning at 1030, to not only hear the word that the Lord's put on my heart, but to meet my pastor, Jeremy Yoder. He is just fabulous. Him and his family, praise God. We're blessed. Um, the congregation, you know, we have a loving congregation uh, that loves to share and fellowship. And I'll tell you what, they're, they, we are a peculiar people at 405 Beverly Parkway at Central Church. When the Bible says that you will be a peculiar people, the, I think they met the people at Central Church, and God bless them. They're wonderful people. I say that with love and endearment. But the Lord's got a message on my heart for Sunday. And by the time you hear the end of that message, if you don't know the man Jesus, you should. And I'll tell you what, I, I've preached to inmates in jails, to drug addicts in rehab centers. I've preached to people on the streets. And I've preached in other churches over the years, but never, ever, ever has the Lord laid such a burning, unquenchable unction, desire, whatever you want to call it, in the Holy Spirit to preach the message he's put on my heart for Sunday. And I just don't want anyone to miss it. Praise God. It's, it's going to be chain-breaking. Spirit freedom. In other words, it's like the, the Lord's going to use this message to break chains, to break generational curses, to set lives free and put people on fire for the Lord. And if they don't get on fire for the Lord after this message, they have no fire at all in them. I'm praying that it'll wake up a revival within people, that it'll spread like wildfire and become a full-blown revival. Because I'll tell you what, if you don't know the man Jesus, it might just change your mind. But anyway, come on down. <laughs> Praise God. I'm so excited. I could feel the presence in this place. Praise God. I could feel the Holy Spirit and the unction of the Holy Spirit. I could feel the, feel the fire in my belly, but yet I could feel the everlasting life water flowing out of it. Amen. Praise God. So come on down Sunday morning, 1030 Central Church, 405 Beverly Parkway, Pensacola. And at four o'clock in the afternoon, loved ones, if you're stuck working uh, in the daytime, and you really want to get the, the word and hear the message and have fellowship and everything, come on down at four o'clock. We have a fellowship and we have a, a service just for you folks that have had to work all day. Come in your uniforms. Come as you are. No one's going to judge you. We don't care what you look like. We don't care what you're dressed like. We're only worried about the soul inside your body. That's all we're worried about. Praise God. So come on down 1030 Sunday morning for the main service and then
come back at 4 p.m. or come if you're working Sunday morning at 4 p.m. to get a recap of what you missed on Sunday morning. Praise God. Let me tell you something, child of God. It's, oh, man, the Holy Spirit is just, oh, the Holy Spirit's just overwhelming right now. Come on out and join us Sunday. Be blessed. Bring a friend. Pull them, drag them, tow them, whatever you got to do. Be here. Don't be square and don't be left behind. Amen. Praise God. See you Sunday morning. Come on and get filled with the word.